All right, so there's the greenhouse. Today, officially, we are breaking ground for the heat sink. So, uh, there's the ground. I had, to, I had to sweep all the rocks out of the way. Get everything kind of pushed out of the way. And there we are, we are breaking ground. All right, so we've officially made it about one foot. And, uh, we got clay at the bottom of that, some really hard clay, so it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, looking pretty good so far. Alright, so that's the hole, and I'm going to use cardboard to hold the, the rocks and stuff in place. Got to go get the uh, PVC, and then uh, start filling the sucker up with rocks. i got to cut the cardboard over here and over here, and I'm going to stuff some more cardboard along the sides to... Uh, just kind of insulate a little bit more. Right, so this is the uh, the heat sink itself, piping that's going to go in the ground. So basically, the air is going to go in here, come out down here. So I drill holes here to kind of disperse the heat. Then all the way around, and there's another hole. So each one has holes staggered so all the way down, and that will disperse the heat out. Got some bricks in there. Some, uh, like a cement block. There's a railroad tie in there, a bunch of glass. I gotta add the insulation to the side some more. Some more, uh, I'm gonna basically wrap it in uh, pretty much this cardboard, and uh, it's pretty much gonna hold in the heat. I'm just gonna insulate it the best I can. I'm just using what I have here. Um, tubing is in place though, so the tubing comes up. I gotta put the uh, outlet in down here, and then the inlet's gonna be up here in the corner. We have an outlet running up. We have all the rocks in place. We have a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in there. So now we got the cardboard in place. We're gonna put the quick creed in. Get that put in, and we're good to go. So that's the next step. All right, so we got the cement in place, so we have it cemented right in. Along the edges here, I got to fill up with some sand, and then it'll be good to go. We'll be uh, pretty much ready after that point. Then I'm gonna saw this off, kind of a little bit closer to the ground, so it's a little bit more flush, and then uh, then we're pretty much in business. This is ready to go. I'm gonna put a little bit of dirt over the top of it, smooth it out, kind of level it up a little bit push the rocks back over it and we're ready ready to finish it up all right so we got the dirt over there pushed everything back over got the rocks hooked up got our outlet right here on the floor and that's pretty much it all right so time to get working on the rest of the PVC and we'll get that hooked up all right All right, so the fan is in place. Got the tube hooked up, and the top here, what I did, and I'm coming up with this for the summer because, was, you know, anything black is going to be hotter. And this the tin can, basically, with two screws run through it. It just sits on top here, and that will allow a bit more heat build up to be pushed down. So I can take that off during the winter. Let's go ahead and give it a test. I'm going to pull this off. We're going to do a, give it a test to make sure it's working. In order to do a test to see if this is working, we are going to light a cigarette. Very good. Yeah, that's working. All right, and it is definitely pulling what it's supposed to be pulling, and it seems to be working. Nice. Right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, just got the, uh, the little uh, charge controller set up, battery, and it's done. Um, and if you don't have a you have a solar panel you have to get one and basically put like a 10 watt solar panel on like a small little uh, like a 
almost like a lawnmower battery something like that anything that's 12 volts I just need a whole lot of power just needs to be able to push that fan uh, at night because what's going to happen is at night when the system whenever everything starts to cool down it's going to push the cool air up under the ground and the outlet that's on the ground is actually going to push the hot air back out of the rocks so that's how it works and that right there is how you make a heat sink all right well, if you guys have any questions go ahead and let me know take it easy peace out